Hi, my name is Dr. Eric Mbuthia, uh, Technical Director for Access Afia, where I lead the digital health strategy. COVID-19 immunity is one of the things that we still do not know too much about. Uh, we can, though, talk about uh, other viruses that are very similar to COVID-19. Uh, one kind of very close to home that we are all familiar with is the common cold, which is caused by actually another kind of coronavirus. Uh, typically with a common cold, um, uh, in typical uh, virus infection way, you develop antibodies which help your body fight infection should it come into contact with this uh, virus again in the future. At the moment with uh, the common cold, your virus, the immunity that is induced by the virus is quite short-lived. Uh, we're talking about three to maybe six months. It is still very early uh, to know whether this is the same with a new uh, COVID-19 virus. Um, some other viruses that are very similar to um, um, COVID-19 in kind of the infection that they cause, you know, is like the uh, seasonal flu, uh, what we call here just the flu. Uh, this is caused by a different virus, the influenza virus, which um, when you get infected by a strain of this influenza virus, you typically develop lifetime immunity or long-term immunity to that particular strain. Um, animal studies at the moment do show that with the COVID-19 virus, uh, there is immunity that is developed, um, but it is yet to be determined whether this is long-term immunity. With a disease such as the COVID-19, where so little information is available, there have been very many uh, myths uh, circulating um, in the population. Um, I think one of the most common ones um, that we have come across is that uh, uh, COVID-19 is not a disease for hot areas. I uh, would like to say that, you know, um, this has been uh, debunked. Uh, we do have COVID-19 cases in the tropics right here in Africa along the equator. And the kind of infection pattern and, you know, the epidemiology of the virus appears to be the same as what's being experienced in the uh, more temperate regions. Another myth that we have come across is that this COVID-19 does not affect uh, uh, African-American or black people. Um, in, in, in actual fact, um, everyone is considered susceptible. In a similar manner, it's been uh, mentioned that COVID-19 is primarily a disease of older people. While well, it is true that older people are in fact at greater risk of developing severe disease, um, it has to be mentioned that everyone is susceptible to developing disease, whether that disease be mild or severe. Um, case in point is, for instance, if we look at South Korea, where majority of the infections actually occurred in people um, in their 20s. One of the other big bits is around the use of antibiotics and herbal medicine. Uh, just to clarify, um, COVID-19 or the coronavirus is a virus, and viruses are not treated with antibiotics. Uh, there is currently no um, identified treatment for the coronavirus. Uh, mainstay of care at the moment is management of symptoms to reduce the progression onto severe symptoms. While it is true there are, you know, like herbal remedies that may help with some of the symptoms like fever, sore throats, um, this should not, however, be considered as treatment for the coronavirus. Testing for COVID-19 is essential to know your status uh, so that you may better protect um, yourself and those around uh, from developing further infection. Uh, initial testing was through uh, what's called reverse PCR, which checks for viral DNA in your system. Uh, this initially used to take several days, but uh, development of uh, testing, and as we've acquired more knowledge, has allowed testing to be, to be reduced to a uh, few hours. There, there are the new antibody tests, which actually check for whether your body has been previously exposed to coronavirus. Uh, this has been useful in also determining whether somebody has previously been infected and also indicates whether they've developed immunity to COVID-19. These tests are unfortunately not yet available, but as you know, as time advances, we hope that they'll be more available. At Access Afia, we have developed a home self-assessment tool. This tool can be accessed either from your phone, uh, tablet, uh, browser. With this kit, you will answer a few questions. Once you answer these questions, you will receive a risk assessment. The risk assessment will guide you on whether you are at risk or are likely infected with coronavirus and, you know, provide relevant advice on the next steps you can take for either testing or to manage yourself at home. In a bid to um, encourage social distancing and reduce our patients uh, or the population's exposure to risk of exposure to COVID-19, Access Africa has developed a home self-assessment tool 
which can be used to evaluate your risk factor for COVID-19. We've also developed an online telemedicine platform. Uh, through this platform, from the comfort of your home, office, you can book a consultation with one of our complement of doctors and they can walk you through your consultation and provide you with uh, prescriptions and the necessary orders that you would need to manage um, any illness that you may have. Access this tool at uh, connectmed.co.ke.